47 News. Now, cold weather can be more than just an inconvenience. Claire, yeah. you were telling me that wind chills can be dangerous. Yeah, wind chills actually are going to be dangerous not only overnight, but as we head towards Sunday and Monday as well, pretty much the next 48 plus hours are going to be extremely cold, so be sure to bundle up. Here's a look at where temperatures stand right now. If you're heading out for any late Saturday night plans, you're going to want all the layers. It is currently 11 degrees outside in Lansing and Mason. It's currently 10 degrees outside in Charlotte, 14. That's your actual air temperature outside tonight in uh, Jackson, but factor in the winds, and this is how cold it currently feels outside. We're already starting to see wind chills fall below zero. It currently feels like five degrees below zero in Lansing. Feels like seven below right now in Charlotte, four below right now in Mason. Currently feels like zero outside in Jackson. Wind chills are only going to progressively get worse as we head throughout the overnight hours. We could see wind chills fall as low as about 15 degrees below zero by the time we wake up on Sunday. And for that reason, we do have a wind chill advisory in place for all areas shaded in this light blue color. That does include Ingham and Jackson counties. That will be in effect until 10 a.m. on Sunday. Again, wind chills anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees below zero. That's when it starts to get dangerous. You can see frostbite setting in in 30 minutes or less to expose skin with conditions like this. So you really need to be sure you bundle up. If you're heading out early tomorrow morning for work, if you're going to church, you have to run errands, things like that. Really just need to be sure that you are bundled up from head to toe because it is going to be cold and wind chills will remain that way pretty much all the way for the neck all the way through uh, Monday. So here's a look where your predicted wind chills are expected. Right around midnight, we're expecting wind chills anywhere from about 2 to nearly 10 degrees below zero. Fast forward to around 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And again, anywhere from 10 to nearly 15 degrees below zero. That's how cold it will feel outside. It is going to be extremely cold. And unfortunately, as we head throughout the day on Monday, we never see wind chills rise above zero degrees. So we are going to be below zero all the way through the day tomorrow in regards to wind chills. And as we fast forward to Monday morning, this is actually when it's going to be the coldest in regards to wind chills, at least that we've seen so far this season. Anywhere from about 15 to over 20 degrees below zero. That is how cold it will feel waking up on Monday morning. Thankfully, the kids don't have school because it is a holiday for MLK Day. However, if you're heading to work, it's a different story, and you are really going to need to probably turn the car on a few for a few minutes early in the morning just so you can get it warmed up a little bit because it is going to be extremely cold. We should start to see wind chills recover as we head Tuesday into Wednesday. Satellite and radar. The reason why wind chills are so cold is because we're starting to see clearing skies. You can see this patch of clear right here. That's slowly going to overspread the state overnight. That's what's one reason why it is going to be so cold. And those clear skies remain in place as we head towards Sunday and Monday, mainly thanks to high pressure that will be situated just off to our southwest. Your future track, there's not too much to show you. Clearing skies overnight. Then we see mostly sunny skies on Sunday morning. That will last through the afternoon hours as well. We're not really going to be seeing too much in the way of crazy weather weather tomorrow with the exception of those dangerously cold wind chills. We see clear skies last Monday night. Let's carry over into the start of our day on Monday as well, and we'll see Monday afternoon. Another day with plentiful sunshine, but very cold temperatures. Highs tomorrow only in the teens. Highs on Monday also only in the teens. So for tonight, expect a low about 4 degrees with clearing skies. Wind chills anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees below zero. It's going to be windy with northeast winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Tomorrow we'll see a high about 12 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Wind chills through the day anywhere from about 5 to 10 degrees below zero. Again, we don't climb above zero in regards to wind chills at all, either Sunday or Monday. So it's going to be cold for the next 48 hours. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Next two days are the coldest of the upcoming week. 12 degrees on Sunday, 13 on Monday. And take a look at Sunday night into Monday. Negative 10, that's your actual air temperature. And again, wind chills could fall as low as about 20 degrees below zero Monday morning. So we are in for some bitterly and dangerously cold wind chills. Thankfully, we should recover Tuesday and Wednesday with highs back up in the 30s. So like you said, no crazy weather, but still those dangerous wind chills and folks got to be careful. Yeah, you really do.